Hey everyone, it's Mike Bond with Cashflow Company. One of the biggest questions we get right now is what's happening with rates, what's happening now, and what's happening in the future. You see the Fed has cut two different times the Fed funds rate. Why is this not impacting the investors in a positive way? So we've seen DSCR loans go down, just a micro dip as we call it, you know, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, and then they're back up. And we also seen conventional rates. One impacts investor loans and the cash flow they're gonna have on rentals, and the other one on fix and flips. How are they gonna sell? What's the market like out there for the properties that they're selling? They want the maximum dollar amount they can, so it really depends on affordability, affordability for the buyers who are purchasing that property. And affordability comes down to payments. Interest rates are the biggest factor in payments besides you know, the price of the property. We don't wanna see prices go down. So where do we know and go to look to see what's really happening in the mortgage industry? So how do you know it's happening in the market? So since the Fed funds do not have a direct impact on the DSCR conventional rates, what does, it's really a market condition. It's supply and demand. The DSCR resembles or correlates with the five-year treasury, while conventional rates correlate with the 10-year treasury. So if you're looking to see where rates are going, especially for the long-term of the DSCR or conventional, you really have to monitor and see where the five-year and the 10-year treasuries are headed. And you could do that quickly online. I was gonna show you that fast or if you want to keep it simple just go to the cash flow company we have the mortgage report that comes out every week showing you what the impact is on the dscr and conventional rates but if you're looking to find out to make sure you're paying what you think or what the market is you could go out and you could just search and i always say search today's rates because you want to know what's happening today so you come in and you type in today's five-year treasury rate and you're gonna get a bunch of services out there. The one that I found is best because it actually shows you today's rates and not just the, the past is Market Watch. So you come in here and you can see what's happening. And really to get a glimpse of what's happened over the last two or three years, there's this drop down right here. You come to it and you can see over the last six months, where have rates gone? You could see at a height of 4.64 and as of today, we're in the 4.2 to 4.3 range. Now, how does this reflect in your DSCR rates? Typically, what you're going to find is they're going to take the five-year treasury note and they're going to add 2.75. And that's typically the best rates out there for the 75 and 80% kind of loan to values. So in this case, you could add 2.75 and you're going to see rates are close to or just over 7%. Now, the same thing you could do with the conventional because remember if you're doing fix and flips you need to see what's happening in the markets so you can come out here to google and you can just type in today's 10-year treasury rate go to the same service but you can see here where the rates are in the 10-year and the conventional rates are a little bit different typically the best rates out there you could add two points to the 4.41 and see where the best rates are out there for the consumers. Now, we know on the conventional side, the brokers, the lenders, they all add points to the back, so the rates are a little bit higher. It's probably actually closer to two and a half to three points, which your consumer is getting. But you could come out here and see what's happened over the last year, over the last three years, and see how that's impacted. You could see this big dip, because in September, the industry thought the Fed was not only going to lower rates, but more important, especially in the five-year and 10-year, that inflation was handled, that it's in control. But with the markets, with the people out there trading, buying five and 10-year treasuries, really came to the conclusion was, is inflation is not in control, so rates went up. The other big factor out there is, you know, these are treasuries. These are based on the U.S. ability to repay them. And the more that they produce, the more that they put out there, they're going to have to get people incentives to buy. So if, if they have doubled or tripled the amount that they're selling, the buyers of those notes are going to require a higher price, which means higher rates. And that's where we're at right now. We're looking at probably the next year to 18 months while they figure everything out and get maybe the debt in line here is rates are going to be on the conventional side between a low of mid to high fives to high of in the sevens. There's just going to be this bracket that's going to go back up and down. The same with DSCR. You're going to see 
rates in the mid to low sixes, and then pop back up into the sevens. That's why we say you gotta be ready and willing to go, especially on the DSCR when these little micro dips happen. You need to make sure you're ready to lock in and go. We have something called the A-list where we track, and if you're looking for a six and a half, when rates hit six and a half, we'll let you know. There'll be a link down below so you can get in the know. If you're trying to watch this yourself, go out, go to Google, look at today's five-year treasury. You'll see that it goes up and down even during the day. It could go anywhere from 10 to 20 basis points up and down. Or just you know sign up for our mortgage report, which comes out weekly instead of daily, but it keeps you in track. We're here to help you be successful. We want you to be successful. This kind of knowledge, this kind of information will help you. We're also going to come out with a forecast for 2024. So make sure you subscribe, like, and we'll catch you on the next video.